today is finally the day to get this puppy down there and get it on the boat. I had a big old dirt clod nest in there. Clean that out and pull the hood off and double checked. See if there's any in there or in the hood. They like to get up in that hood and make them damn nests. Um, the thermostat is coming in for the 70 horse and just getting my band a little cleaned up try to get that damn motor in the back so that's what's happening baby <laughs> finally so this is the prop that I bought brand new Michigan wheel and it's a 9 by 10 and they have paint good on it. It's almost like uh, what do you call that? See how it rolls off like plastic? Um, yeah, look how shiny it is on there. Wow. Anyway, so then this prop I was talking about actually says 9.2 by 12. So I wanted to give it a shot and see what's going to happen. And the problem with this thing too was when they put the the freaking plug in there, whatever you call the damn thing, they pushed it out too far. Look at it now, it almost looks like it's gotten a little crooked. You know, it's leaning on this side a little bit, which is a little bit weird, unless it was laying like that in the storage unit. Anyway, looks looks fine on this end. So because they pushed the hub out too far, it was rubbing. And I had to take down some of the burrs on it here in the back. That's what was hitting these burrs. And seemed to seemed to straighten itself out. Anyway, I'm gonna get them swapped out. I uh, pulled it up a little bit. It's a little bushy, but it should be all right. I just hate getting in that damn mud, man. You get it stinks, and you just I don't know, hate it. So anyway, I'm gonna get this done. Then I'm gonna get this thermostat came in. I'm gonna put that in and tie up that damn gear case and adjust that shift linkage when you go to put it up in the forward man i mean it hits right man as soon as you move that lever it pops into gear you go put it in reverse man you gotta pull the thing way back so it's in that shift linkage which i hate screwing around with it and i don't want to do it by the cable because i want to leave everything the way i had it it was great the way i had it so let me get this damn thing on here. So I got picked up some new bolts because I always bolt this motor on. Don't want to take anybody or take any chances, I should say, with anybody walking off with it. The other day when I was working on the 70 horse, this guy comes flying by in his boat and he goes, this old outboard and waves at me. And I, I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know. And uh, I don't know who it was. Anyway, let me get some, a couple wrenches to tighten these babies up. What happened the other day when I pulled this thermostat out and I was like, you know, amazed at the damn thing never seen anything like it so then I decided to fire up the motor and blow everything out make sure nothing was clogging anything up because that impeller had melted there was chunks of stuff in the housing so when I blew it out it wasn't until later you know the schematic you know, looking up part numbers and stuff, and I was like, oh shit, man. There's a freaking grommet in there. And this little 
other little metal cap like thing fits in there and I'm like oh Jesus I probably blew that thing right out both of them so luckily there's a place here in town called boat ranch called him up this morning he's got them in stock so before I run down there I'm gonna pull this thing off and see what the hell if I blew them out or what I'm pretty sure they got blown out and if they did, they're laying on the bottom over there somewhere. And with the water and the condition it's in today, <laughs> you're never going to see them. So, let me pull this damn thing apart. Uh-oh, I think it's still in there. <laughs> I can feel it. The rubber grommet. But you can't see anything from this side. So, you, you know, that's... Plus, like I said, that damn that damn thermostat was so wacky looking and stuff. It didn't even, you know, nothing else was going through the old brain. Anyway, I think it's still in there. Oh man! And it felt felt like it's in good condition. Now, stupid me, he'll probably drop it in the water here if I pull it out. Boy, it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> wow. All right, so I'm gonna get the the new thermostat and the spring and put this damn thing back together. So there's the new one. And yes, this little capsule, you can buy the whole thing like this or you can spin the top off and pull out the it's got a real wacky name to it. Nathan Thermo or something. I don't, I don't remember, but it, it's in there. A little brass thermostat. And uh, so for a few more bucks, I just went ahead and ordered the whole thing instead of just the little, little brass thermo inside. All right. Double tighten this. Should be good to go. So I finally got that damn bolt out of the piece here and uh, total pain in the butt man. I mean you just can't get in there and you know half a turn at a time it feels so loose like you could just twist it out but you could, just can't get in there until the very end. And, so anyway, I showed you this thing before. I'm not going to fool around with the camera and call it crap this time. You know, it's sticking out about this far. And it hooks on to here. And it hooks on to here. This rod here. So this goes click, 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 like this. So that thing needs to be screwed down. I'm going to give it a good three turns and hopefully that's going to be enough. All right, so I'm going to give up. I can't do it from up here. I'm going to have to drop the gear case about this freaking far. I can get it to turn and it gets wedged up under there. Absolutely ridiculous. I've got it in reverse so the shaft is all the way down and still can't get it to do a full circle around. Um, you know, it's shaped like this, so it, you know, it has to pivot around. It's not just straight, where I could just screw it down. So, I've got to finish up bolting up the gear case anyway. I've just got the four bolts in it. Pull them out, drop this thing a hair, tighten the god dang thing down, put 
put everything back on me and wasted 15 minutes here trying to do it and nothing I put in there is working. All right, so I dropped this thing like a quarter of an inch, man, if that. And it's spinning right around, screwing it in. Now I've got about three turns on it. And if I'd known the other way was gonna be such a pain in the butt, I wouldn't have attempted it, but what the hell. So if you ever have to do this, don't do it the way I just tried to do it. Cause it's not gonna clear. Son of a brick of brick of smacker. All right, I think I got it close enough. Um, it doesn't seem to be where the old one was. Anyway, I went with reverse, like I do on a on a tiller motor. I put it down in reverse, tighten everything up. And that usually seems to work for me. So I put the handle in reverse and just kept, you know, adjusting the the linkage and adjusting the cable and, until they finally came together and, and matched feels pretty good up there but it won't know till the test run and uh, hopefully the cable if there's any problems will take it out you know cure the problems all right here we go should be a cold start I'm not even going to use the, uh, the starter lever See what happens. Test this damn control. Really don't mean not to keep it out of the water. Well, here's reverse. Perfect. Neutral. Oh, poop. Give it a little. Come on. Alright, here's forward. Perfect. Good enough. I'm going to let it warm up and take it for a little run just right here. And uh, clean up while it's warming up. Get the paddle and the life vest and all that crap. Oh, come on, what's going on here now? Damn it. This was working fine before. <sighs> Leave it up a little bit so it warms back up.
Well, she stalled out on me four times. You know, running is fine, but slowing down, she just wanted to stall out. Give it the gas and it's stalling out. Didn't sound like it was, uh, you know, just sound like it wasn't getting the fuel. I'd keep cranking it up, cranking it up. So, I'm hoping it's just a fuel issue, fuel pump, uh, I don't know, but it's running. Whoa, bass just hit right there. But it, it feels great while it's running, but the stalling issue, need to figure that out. It looks like I'm dripping a little bit of gas right now. What the hell is going on? Anyway, it seems to, you know, it's got a little stutter on takeoff. And it takes a minute for it to be getting the gas. And that might be the problem. Why? What the hell? Let me open it up and see what's leaking. Jesus Christ. All right, so what was happening is this damn thing was leaking down there at that one of them crappy little freaking elbows. Pieces of junk, man. And this whole thing, I don't know if you saw the, the one video where I tore this thing apart and the original started working on this thing. It's just an absolute wreck. I, I don't know, how, you know, this thing was mounted on some piece of crap that was about to, to hit, uh, you know, metal thing. It was about to hit the positive on the battery and, you know, it was a, a friggin' disaster ready to happen. So I got rid of all that shit and it just usually just sits in here like this. And um, I'm thinking right now what I'm going to do is trim these friggin' hoses down so it sits down there out of the friggin' way. And that should take care of this bullshit. Before I had it all zip tied and all the wires and everything. But it's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, there's no mount for it and it's just crazy. So, fooled around my Lincoln sink, got those hoses cut. I think I may have already said that. Did a little adjustment with the with these freaking cables. Everything is off a little bit from from the last time I did it. This damn solenoid is leaking like a sieve when you push in the the key. It's just just coming out. We got the, the parts motor over there. We'll see if I can swap that out. Boy, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm cranky now. <laughs> All freaking day. Nothing to eat. Oh man, hands all beat up. Bitchy moaning groaning, baby. Let's see what, you know, I think I got this thing ironed out. So, try this one more time. Come on, motor.
I don't know. Anyway, I just need to get this thing done. See, this is what happened the last time. Go to give it the freaking gas, and she freaking stalls out. Start it back up. And seems to be fine. No, not taking the. I just had it up there, disconnected the linkage, ran this freaking throttle, it was running beautiful. Get out here in the water, put a little load on it, it starts this crap. I mean, it's just stupid. I can't, I can't freaking deal with it anymore today. Ah, oh, shit. See if I, if I, this is what I had to do the last time, pump it up a little bit, and she wants to start moving. See there? Oh yeah, baby, next time on this old outboard. I got my buddy, Captain Mark. He's running the boat, the 70 horse shots, and we're gonna try to duplicate, you know, heating it up and seeing if it's gonna break down. And I'm here standing by. In case I gotta go get his ass. <laughs> Follow the real life saga. One out for at a time, baby. Oh yeah, baby, tons more stuff coming your way. You never know what's gonna happen next. It's this old outboard, baby. It's fast! You know the channel.